Hi there, it's Suzanne and Craig back again from Adventures of Empty Nesters. We are here for lesson number eight of our cocktail adventures, and that will be our first season. We will have a second season <laughs> coming soon. We've had a blast sharing our favorite cocktail recipes with you all, and I hope you've enjoyed it as well. Today we have another really good one, and it actually goes back to a travel memory for, for us when we were in Costa Rica, and it is going to be a mojito. Only not your Only. standard mojito. Nope. So the mojito you may know, which is more of a Cuban highball, Okay. it would have rum, it would have lime, it would have uh, mint muddled in it, it would have a simple syrup and a soda water. We were inspired by a different hotel. Yes. Yes. It's the Andaz Papagayo. It, did I say that already? It's okay. I can say it again. Um, <laughs> hashtag Andaz Papagayo. Hashtag Andaz Papagayo. Okay. Um, and Clark Jimenez was the mixologist there. And he was actually the champion mixologist in Costa Rica. So we learned from the best. We took a cocktail class. All right. So what we're going to do is put the Latin American spin Ode to Clark yes. on this drink. Okay. So what we're going to do, we'll make one. I already have the other one made. Okay. We want to squeeze in a lime. So I've already, for the sake of time, put half in. Good job. You want to take two tablespoons of lime-infused simple syrup. Mm -hmm. and, and we've talked about how to make simple syrup in other episodes this season. Another episodes. Right. Yes. But what you want to do is you also want to put in two dashes of bitters. Mm -hmm. And bitters kind of cuts the sweetness. And then we're going to muddle it with, with basil leaves. Basil from our garden. Oh, that's right. Yes. So I'm going to muddle. Now to muddle correctly, I should have done this in the tin, but I wanted you to be able to see. So no Look comments, right? Yeah, that's right. No right. one said we're professionals. So what we're doing is we're bringing out the essence of the basil. Mm -hmm. Okay, then what I want to do is I want to put nice. in two shots of Tanqueray 10. Aha, surprise. Yeah, now Tanqueray 10 is a small batch gin made by Tanqueray. It's got a wider palate for more varietal flavors. We're going to put in for the sweetness a shot of Limoncello. Mm -hmm. So good. It is. We're going to put that in with what we muddled. Yep. Shake it until the shaker's cold. Yeah. You know, they say the history of the mojito dated back to the 16th century. Really? But no one can agree on who came up with the drink, as with everything. Oh, really? We do know that uh, Ernest Hemingway made them the most popular. Okay. So we're going to garnish that with a little bit of a lime. Yes. And, and I'm going to give you the fresh one. Thank you. We have one more thing to do. Oh. I almost forgot the best part. The best part. Here we go. So this was Clark's idea, where you take a cinnamon stick and you light it on fire. Without burning your hands. Without burning your hands. And the smell is so good. And you stick it in your drink. And you have the essence coming out as you sip. So here you go, the Costa Rican lime and basil mojito with a cinnamon stick. Don't play with torches at home. Don't play with torches at home. <laughs> Bye for now. We'll see you soon. There might be a bonus. Hint, hint. Cheers. Bye.